Buxton getting in there and we know what he can do with fastballs. We know what he can do with hanging sliders and be nice to see him answer for the twins here. As he swings and launches high and deep to left center field. Back it goes and gone. Career home run number 100 for the Twins All-Star Byron Buxton and that ties the game at two. Well, right on cue. Just after I mentioned Lynn gives up a bunch of homers. Buxton Twins would like to answer. Just like that it's a tie ball game. A drive left field. Merrifield going back looking up that ball is gone. A grand slam for Carlos Correa. Drove in more runs with the bases loaded than they have all year long to this point. Yeah, he took that fastball for strike one, and you wonder if that's what he was sitting on. Was he waiting for that slider? This is the big hit you've been waiting for. A drive to left. What a comeback. 34,514. Most of them stuck around to see this. What a ball game. What an effort. This is the kind of one that can really propel your season going forward. A hanging changeup, and it got out in a hurry. To center. Down for a hit. And the Twins walk off the Red Sox. Farmer with his second walk off hit for his new team. Well, it wasn't easy, but they found a way to get it done. And this is a big win right here to be able to battle through some adversity, to be able to answer when the Red Sox scored, to give up a lead late with one of the best relievers in all of baseball. Not just contact, but solid contact down the line and gone. Another no doubter. And Buxton has his 12. Well, jumped off his bat. The only question was, is it going to stay fair? I was headed up there for that third deck. Looks like it hit off the foul pole up there. What a swing! And now he's starting to see it. You want to win ball games. You want to beat good teams. Your best hitters have to be a part of that. And we've seen it, Correa, and now Buxton to start off this first inning. <laughs> All aboard! And the three-two pitch. He struck him out, swinging on a changeup. And Pablo Lopez, a new career-high 12 strikeout gem. Pitch number 100. To center. Pablo Lopez was dominant tonight. Absolutely phenomenal outing for Pablo Lopez. A career high 12 strikeouts, first career complete game, a shutout. Got him. And the Twins in Seattle win back to back ball games. Wow, that was dominant right there. 104, 104 all day long. Picks up his buddy. Over at first base, made a little error on the play, but a great ball game here. Giving up a lead, well pitched ball game from both starters. Twins came up with the big hits when they needed them, and he just blew his doors off there. Now the winning run of third and two down. Ground ball, base hit, right field. Jeffers walks off the White Sox, and the three game sweep is complete. Uh, great for Ryan Jeffers, great for the Twins. A sweep of the Sox here to start this homestand. Jeffers with two base hits already and did exactly what hope we were hoping maybe Vasquez might do. And, and this is how it pays off. Look for something out over the plate, stay in the middle of the field, drive it the other way. What a nice job of winning this ball game by Ryan Jeffers. Loop to right. And down for a hit. Correa walks off the Mariners. Solano scores the winning run. Back to back walk off wins from the first place Minnesota Twins. A high fly right center field. Matt Waller with a walk off. For his hometown team. It's a fastball. Full extension. He grew up a half hour north of here. Went to a lot of Twins games as a kid. And has just delivered his first walk-off hit for his hometown team.
staying alive or do they try and throw a better one below the zone and trust that Haas will be able to block it. A high fly. Deep right center field. Matt Waller does it again. Wow. <laughs> Almost a twin to the one we just showed you that walked off the Diamondbacks. A tremendous at bat. And the Twins take a 5 2 lead. One ball, one strike. Lopez last time out. Eighth win, six innings. Gave up four hits, no runs. Had one walk, seven strikeouts. Chopped up the line. Going to be a tough play. Polanco, glove to glove. Lopez with 19 consecutive scoreless innings. And the inning is through. Pirates again strand a man. A drive to left field. Back and gone. Don't need to leg anything out when you hit the ball into the second deck. Lynch finally hit a home run with a man on base, and it comes in the eighth inning. 7-5, Minnesota. A walk, a strut, a bat flip, and the Twins lead 7-5. A three-run eighth inning. Hit hard to center. Tavares going back. But Royce Lewis, that breaking ball spun, stayed right in the middle of the plate. He absolutely hammered at 111 miles an hour off the bat. That was an absolute rope over Tavares' head, gone. Numbers are impressive enough, but one of the things you like about Royce Lewis definitely has a flair for the dramatic. And the Twins load him up for the second straight day. It's going to be Royce Lewis, who had a grand slam yesterday, second of his career. And the 0-1, a swing to fly ball, left center field, deep in the gap. This ball's got some carry at the track, at the wall. That ball's gone, a grand slam. He's done it again. Royce Lewis finds the Cleveland bullpen in left center field. He's done it for the second straight game. Back-to-back -back Grand Slams here at Target Field. Bases stay low to guess who's coming up. It's Mr. Grand Slam, Royce Lewis. Three career, including two this season alone. A deep drive to left field. High and deep to left. Another Grand Slam for Royce Lewis. He's done it again. Royce Lewis, for the fourth time in his career, third time this season, has hit a Grand Slam. And the Twins take a 6-0 lead here in Cleveland. All of this after two outs and nobody on. Royce Lewis will bat with the bases loaded again. Swung on line to the right center field. It's not a home run, but it is a base hit. It's a two-run single for Royce Lewis. It's an 11-1 Twins lead, and Royce has knocked in six. 18-3, ninth inning. There's Walner batting as he smokes it to right field, down the line, deep in the corner, near the pole. That is fair and gone. The Twins have put up 20 runs here tonight. Their sixth home run now lead 20 to three. A dangerous pitch to a dangerous hitter. Just throw it down the middle. He can't hurt you. A high fly to left field. Ben Intendi going back. Royce Lewis with another grand slam. Wow. His fifth career Grand Slam, his fourth this season. And it's four to nothing. Well, I asked Jesse Schultz to throw it down the middle. He can't hurt you. And, and I think I was telling the fib, Dick. <laughs> you can see it that ball a long way. But um, pretty impressive by Royce Lewis. And you know, got off the elevator this afternoon to come to the ballpark and ran into his mom and dad, so they got a chance to see it. Three on, two out, ninth inning, 3-3 three, three score, and the pitch. Line drive, right side, base hit, right center. Farmer scores, racing home, Vasquez, he will score. Polanco delivers. Polanco with a ground ball, base hit to the right side, drives in two, and the Twins with a three-run ninth have a 5-3 lead here in Cincinnati. Polanco has been so clutch for so long. And the Twins have rallied and lead 5-3 here in the ninth inning. This crowd just way too rough right here. Target field is on its feet. The 2-2 on the way. Up the middle. A championship returns to Twins territory. And the Twins are the champions of the American League Central. The Mets are thrown in the air. The players. Bouncing in a huddle around the pitcher's mound, 
as the Minnesota Twins, victorious for the third time in five years, will fly an American League Central flag at Target Field.